boys. It's the 61st annual NAIA Football National Championship, live from Municipal Stadium, Daytona Beach, Florida. The number two ranked Baker University Wildcats against the fourth ranked University of St. Francis Cougars. It's a playoff rematch from 2012 between these two football teams with the national championship on the line here tonight. Step coach in, he's tight to the left side in the goal line offense. Two running backs in, and they'll hand the ball off. Here's a cut up the middle, and they're into the second level. Position 
now with uh, just inside of four and a half minutes. Time. On this snap, third down and five. And Raquel drops the throw again. Oh, he's up got pressure. He lost the football. And the Cougars have got it at the 39-yard line. There it is. There it is. Great job there from the Cougar defense. Number 39 comes in and causes that fumble. Lucas Parks grabbed the football. He's got the fumble recovery. So the first turn over the ball game, and the Cougars in business. They'll have it with 2.04 remaining on the clock and a lead of 10-3. to 3. Eric Dunstan, Lucas Sparks, tremendous combination right there. And once again, the St. Francis defense coming up, giving them two minutes left to go in a short field for the uh, Cougar offense. Didn't know there were white geese. <laughs> Here's motion by Boswell, and uh, here's Green up the middle to the second level. Breaks to his left. He's got the defense. Go, he's got a chance. Touchdown. They won't catch it. Oh, Justin no. Green to the house for 39 yards after the fumble recovery. And the Cougars on the board on the blast play by Justin Green. Yes, we do have the crowd mics on right now. It's just the, uh, <laughs> the wind from every sail on this side of the sideline is gone. There are the Baker crowd is now out of it. So Green to the house, and that is his 12th rushing touchdown. And the Cougars tack on six. They lead it by 13 points now, pending. Rare to settle down a little bit and be a little bit more accurate with the passes, too. Now he's got motion again. Boswell will give the ball to him, and looking cuts it up, and he's got the first down, brings it out across the 20 to about the 26-yard line. Sean Boswell. On fresh legs, Boswell is what you're seeing right there. He had a nice job cutting on a dime. 17 10, Cougars holding on by their teeth. And now, spin play. Prayer steps up, throws left side. Oh, he's oh, wide open. He's got the ball from 15 to the 10. Straight arm one, and he's got a touchdown. That one is good for 59 yards at the 44 second mark. How did Seth Coates get that right over? Unbelievable. How do you lose a guy like Seth Coates behind you of all places? But he was uh, wide open, had at least a 10-yard spread. Ball was on the money. And he was able to find the end zone after a, uh, an authoritative stiff arm from the defender. And uh, two on the day for Seth Coates. Looks like he was just swatting the fly. <laughs> I wasn't going to say that. Ready to take the snap. They've gone with the screens. Bertel looking, looking. Now throws over the middle. Looking, he's got a man open. The ball knocked away. Good defense by St. Francis. And a bring up fourth down. Tremendous job over the top defense right there. Had a man in motion. Jarrell Holman. He's played a pretty good yes, game. Yes, he has. Unsung hero. We've called his name more than a few times here. Showing up. And uh, that ball kind of floated on the uh, Martel, the quarterback. He gave Holman enough time to get up there and knock it away. Set to the left side. Herrera wants to throw, throws the fade down near side, looking for Coat up, and he's got the ball at the 40. And down to the 46, he just outseats the Baker defender. Yeah, he did. Boy, unfortunately for him, that was uh, Darian Winston. He is the uh, strong safety. Comes in with uh, what 10 interceptions on the season, and he was really caught flat. He wasn't looking at the ball. He wasn't eyeing it in. Coat just went up and got it, and uh, Winston was unaware. Pistol lineman now. Kelso comes near side. And a spin move by Ferrer. Looks to the right side. Yep, He's got a it. man down there. Coat with a touchdown. Yeah. 36 yards. Money. Coat down in the end zone with his third catch of the night for a touchdown. I just had a feeling Coat lined up as a tight end that time on the right side. And they brought the man in motion to the left side. And I'm thinking they're going to try for Coat because he's not lined up in a slot or the split or the wide out position. He's lined up in a tight end. That's exactly what they did. He went up the field, started right, came back inside. He was wide open and all the money was for rare. Now they go back to the one back set. Patel out of the crystal, throws the screen. And they are not going to get the first down. Cougars again throughout. Got to the ball. That was James Jameson that came in and stopped him. He made him pay for catching that. Rattel drops the throw. Looks, throws to the left. He's got a catch. I don't think he gets the spot for the first down at the USF. Just outside the 35. It'll be fourth down and one. 
Brown back in there as the running back, offset to the right side of Brattel. Here's the snap, short drop. They look, they look. Brattel flushed to his left, buying time, and runs out of bounds. Boy, he took a hit from Dutton, very close to the side, to the end, to the out of bounds. Ferrer again, out of the pistol, looks to hand it off. Here's Dean. He's got running room. Oh, boy. He's behind the defense inside the 10 to the 5 and a touchdown. Ooh, icing on the tank for the Cougars. A 28-yard touchdown run at the 248 mark. And they're back to a three-touchdown lead. There it is. Great job by the big uglies up front, creating that seam on the right side. DJ Dean with the fresh legs in there, taking it to the house. Beautiful run by the Cougars. Second rushing touchdown of the night for USF. Cougars not ready to concede anything yet at this point. Here's Looking oh. at what they've got him wrapped up, and that's a big sack. That was Marcus Stell. <laughs> Boy, Bertel did not know what was coming No, he surely did One more snap coming up, and it is going to be over. As the Cougars, Zach Minardo charges to midfield, and the Cougar players coming out. Nine seconds. Down to six, and five, and four. And here comes the Cougar crowd out to join them at midfield. And let the party begin. 38-17, Cougars win it. The national championship in 2016 by 21 big points. Well, Fort Wayne's the greatest city there is. And uh, we're so happy to do this for our university, for the city of Fort Wayne, for Sister Elise, and all the guys that have worked so many years to build this program. You know, he's like an uncle to me. I, the first time I met him, I was six years old. Uh, and I've been around the program ever since. And I could imagine playing college ball for anyone else. And especially winning the championship, dumping water on Coach D. You know, hopefully he gets dried off here soon. Uh, but, um, you know, it's just, just a fantastic feeling uh, just to go out on top of the last game of my career. Un unbelievable. I mean, we, we did what we uh, set out to do this season. Um, and we've done it. The best, you know, the, the best possible goal we could reach, we reached it. And we did it for Coach D. Um, and we're going to bring the trophy back to Fort Wayne. Uh, it was some butterflies at the beginning, I ain't going to lie, but it's phenomenal right now. The feeling is amazing. It feels great, man. Uh, it yeah. feels great. just feels great. That's all I got to say. It feels great. Jeff, yeah. I ain't even got words for you, man. I mean, look at this. Those guys up there helped me do it. I mean, I'm blessed. I'm thankful. And talented. <laughs> Speechless, baby. I know. All I know is we're coming back next year. We're taking it to them. I love all my seniors, and I'm proud to be a Cougar. It's, it's more than just a win. It's more than just a win. We've been harping on all year, man. This stuff is bigger than us. It's bigger than us, man. And for us to come out like this as champions, oh, my God, I feel so good right now. I could have gave up so many times, but I didn't. I just kept pushing and kept fighting, man. And that's Cougar football for you. Oh man, I'm on top of the world right now, man. To God be all the glory, man. We couldn't have did it without him, man. All, all the players stepped up today. I'm proud of them. The coaches coached their butts off. You know, we, we did it. We on top of the world, man. The world didn't think we was going to be here and get it done, but we, we all believed in ourselves, and that's all we needed. It feels great. We've worked 11, over 11 months for this, and, and we finally got to this moment. We capitalized this year. Um, it just feels great. Um, congrats to Coach Donnelly on the first ever title at St. Francis. And I just want to thank Cougar Nation for coming out today. It was a great win. Hey man, coaches called the plays when we just went out there and executed. And, and we did it to the best of our abilities. I believe in everybody out here. And man, we just came as a band of brothers and we just got the, the mission done. Our DB stepped up. And they knew they were going to have a heck of a game. I mean, this guy's averaging 300 and some yards passing. And they, I mean, they shut him down. They, he had nowhere to go with the ball. Defensive line, I mean, I think we had four sacks. Everything came together. And then with. Seth and Nick and the boys up front scoring 38 points. Jay Green, those guys, I mean, PJ's run, long run to cap it. I mean, couldn't have a better football game put together in one night. I don't know, it's surreal. I mean, all the, all the hard work we put in, it's finally paid off. I mean, this group of guys, it, it couldn't happen to a better group of guys. We did, every, we did, the, we did things the right way, and I'm just extremely proud of everybody, and, and Cougs are number one, baby.